The WBZ family has lost a dear friend and former colleague. Sarah Ann Shaw's family says she passed away today, surrounded by loved ones. Sarah Ann was a pioneer in broadcasting, the first black female reporter in Boston. She worked here at WBZ for more than 30 years, sharing stories of people here and beyond. WBZ's Paula Eben looks back at her legacy. <laughs> It costs you nothing but time to return a phone call, to mentor a student, to volunteer a few hours to help an organization, to listen to someone's story. These are the words that Sarah Ann Shaw lived by. The Porter's House Shelter isn't the only program that Women Incorporated operates. Empowering children to survive and succeed is you can't start too young. Sarah Ann began her career at WBZ in 1969. That first decade was a tumultuous time in Boston. The civil rights struggle, the Vietnam War, and busing. Through it all, Sarah blazed a trail. Sarah Ann Shaw, TV4, Eyewitness News, Statehouse. She was the first woman of color to hold an on-air reporting beat at WBZ. Sarah Ann gave a voice to Boston's disadvantaged, the hungry, the homeless, children in need of a better chance. Eyewitness News reporter Sarah Ann Shaw is back in our newsroom now to tell us some more about that story. Sarah? Well, Gail, the city's housing inspection department received 60 calls today about heat problems. She also taught us about all the good in communities throughout the Commonwealth. Be proud of who you are and demand respect for what you do. If you want the city to come plow your street, Perhaps you have to start on it yourself. She retired in 2000 after 31 years of telling the stories of the people of Massachusetts. You know, there are not enough words to say what this woman has meant to WBZ. After a surprise send-off, she had this message for her viewers. I want to thank everyone externally and internally who've helped me over the years. And I want to assure viewers that despite my absence, it does not and should not mean that your stories will not get told. Thank all of you. Sarah Ann Shaw was 90 years old. I had the privilege of working with Sarah Ann, and I love the video that you picked and all the sound because that is who she was. She cared deeply about people in the newsroom, on the stories she did, and I feel like she was always looking out for that person who wasn't represented or maybe didn't have a voice at the mm -hmm. table. Yeah, people talked about how soothing her voice yes. was. And also, I think a lot of times we think of women of that era as being tough and tenacious, and clearly she was. But I think she lasted when you hear about her warmth and gentle nature because she was a wonderful person. Yeah. And so so viewers really connected with the kind of storytelling she was drawn to for decades. I got to see her only on TV when I was younger, yeah. but when I met her one time, I think it was in the newsroom after she retired, she was so sweet. And it's always intimidating when you meet somebody who you, who you watch growing up. And she was so sweet. And of course, so important to so many people in the community. And uh, our hearts go out to everyone who was close to her. Yeah, and her family. She was so kind. Yeah. We'll be right